Contrary to what the new atheists claim, the scientific revolution was fueled by Judeo-Christian thinking. You talk about it like it's the X factor, a transposition in thinking that was necessary for modern science to come about. I want you to tell the folks about what this X factor is. Yeah, well, this is a big untold story as to the history of science. And almost all prominent historians of science have come to see this, that ideas that came out of the Judeo-Christian worldview, indeed even biblical ideas about the nature of God and the nature of, of the natural world, were essential to getting science going. And there's a famous historian from Cambridge University, a historian of science named Joseph Needham, who argued that there had to be some X factor that could explain what historians of science call the scientific revolution. Roughly between 1500 and 1750, there was this great flowering of interest in the natural world and the development of very systematic methods for studying nature, which we now call scientific inquiry. Those methods uh, were not used in other cultures. There wasn't the same interest in the natural world. Yeah, we're talking about Roman culture, we're talking about Egyptian culture, Chinese culture, all, all of, of these them. Very sophisticated cultures. That's the it. Chinese developed gunpowder and block printing. The Greeks had great philosophers. The Romans built aqueducts. But none of these even very sophisticated ancient cultures developed the systematic methods for studying nature that arose during this period of the scientific revolution. And historians of science have asked, why? Why there in Europe? Why then? And what they have almost universally come to in their understanding is that the X factor, the thing that explains that difference, was the role of Judeo-Christian thinking, biblical ideas about the nature of nature and the nature of God.